This short talk is about the myth of the intraosseous space. We learn orthopedics, and again we are told the extension casting of a forearm is meant for bone setters, not for orthopedic surgeons. I have just read the 14th edition of Campbell, which says that intraosseous space is like a joint, and all patients. Sincere efforts will be maintained to ensure that this is intraosseous space does not disrupt. How correct or incorrect this statement is? This statement means that such sorry here, here we are such fractures are being treated and uh, nailed and plated in young children six years seven years eight years old, leading to disastrous complications. This was a child, a friend of mine, with a distal ulnar and a proximal radial fracture. You can see the fractures. He was treated with minimal reduction, side to side opposition, and an extension casting with the elbow mid prone and an extension. With no regard for the X-ray or no concern for the intraosseous space, you can see that on removal of the cast in four weeks, the intraosseous space is totally buggered up in both AP and lateral views, and as the fracture throws callus, the intraosseous space reduces further and further. Causing great anguish to the X-ray. However, the patient was fully functional, with a good elbow range, and near normal pronation supination, and the parents were very happy. He was followed up periodically, and this is the X-ray. About four to five months later, you can see the type of overlap, the intraosseous space missing. Totally against the textbooks, but once the fracture united, the function was normal, and the bent bone began to straighten itself, and the intraosseous space started appearing. Children remodel so beautifully that intraosseous space myth is a real myth. It is wrong to say. That we must not see the final results. See the intraosseous space exactly twenty twenty four months from the time of the accident, and you can see the function. You cannot distinguish which was the limb which was fractured. Both have identical muscle strength. Both have full flexion and extension. The patient has absolutely full supination and pronation, and. His function is so beautiful that neither the patient nor his parent has any complaint whatsoever regarding this management. The patient avoided nasty metal in his body. He avoided scars. He avoided the risks of anesthesia, the troubles of surgery, and the phenomenal expense of getting a surgical procedure. And entry into an operation theater. They say supination and pronation is always restricted when the intraosseous space is disturbed. Here you can see the patient supinating and pronating without even realizing which was a fractured limb and which was an unfractured limb. So, moral of the story is that the intraosseous space. Is a myth, and forearm fractures are not intraarticular fractures, and these fractures can well be treated conservatively in extension cast. I do have a large series of adult patients treated non-operatively with forearm fractures with exceptional results. This paper will be sent for publication soon.
थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग टू दिस वीडियो थैंक यू